understood and enjoyed our presentation on cosmetics and medicines. With that, we have almost covered everything in introduction to chemistry. And if anything is left behind, then it will be covered in the question and answer segment. So please check the description box below. Extremely brilliant and talented, this creative artist needs no further introduction. And along with him, we have a young environment enthusiast who has been sensitizing you on various environmental issues. Presenting Mohammad Ahmad Malik and A. Sabri Vasan as our mastermind. Hey there, Imad here. Hi, I have just uh, returned from jogging and you can see the amount of sweat on my face. Do you know why I am sweating so profusely? Because I am wearing a synthetic track suit. If it was a blended fabric, like this one, then I wouldn't have sweat like this. What is a blended fabric? Why is it preferred uh, over natural or synthetic fiber? A, bl a blended fabric like terracotta is made from two or more different types of fibers. Blended fabrics are preferred over synthetic or natural fibers because they show advantages of two or more types of fibers. Blending is the combining of different fibers to achieve a desired product character characteristic. Blends can influence coloring, strength, softness, absorbency, ease of washing, resistance to wrinkle, etc. For example, for example, poly cotton garments are breathable and provide much more comfort. Yummy! You know, my favorite drink is milk. I think everybody loves drinking milk, isn't it? Did you know that milk is also the major source of nasty bacteria that cause very serious illnesses like food poisoning, tuberculosis and scarlet fever? Got to blow. Well, sad to say, but it is true. So, is there a way to enjoy our favorite drink? The answer is yes and the secret is pasteurization. What is pasteurization? How does it help to keep the milk safe? Pasteurization is a process of heat processing a liquid or a food to kill pathogenic bacteria to make the food safe to consume. The process is named after Louis Pasteur. Since the 1920s, pasteurization is widely used to increase the food safety and shelf life of food. Pasteurization uses heat to remove 99.9% .9 of the bacteria. The process of pasteurization is a simple two-step mechanism. At first, the milk is heated at a very high temperature and then cooled immediately. This way, most of the harmful bacteria is killed and milk can be preserved for a longer duration of time. So, when you buy milk, always look for a pasteurized milk. Thinking of infection reminds me of the immunity booster that will be up soon. So, please don't forget to watch it. Immunity is the natural defense system of the human body which helps the body to fight against infection by creating antibodies. Can we build in immunity artificially? What is a vaccine and how does it keep us safe from infection? Yes, we can build immunity artificially with the help of a vaccine. The vaccine is a weakened or the dead form of the germ. Once it is injected in the body, the immune cells mount the defense by creating antibodies. But since the threat is low, the immune cells disarm themselves. But during the process, memory cells are created, which are able to fight the real germ when required, thus keeping us safe from the infection. Talking of infection, it is always better to build our immunity. Vaccines are not always the best alternatives to build immunity. The most natural way to build immunity is to eat healthy, exercise daily and relax. When it comes to eating healthy, we should try to eat fresh fruits and vegetables. These days, people are opting for organic supplies because they use manures and not fertilizers. So are fertilizers harmful? Why are people sh shifting to natural manure though fertilizers yield more? We all know that major plant nutrients are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. These nutrients can either be provided naturally or through chemicals. When they are provided as chemicals, then we call them fertilizers. Though fertilizers provide instant nutrition, they also cause lot of damage. Some of ill effects of fertilizers are, since fertilizers are water soluble, the surplus fertilizer that is given to the plant seeps into the soil and then to the water bodies. Once it enters the water body, it stays there for many years, thus polluting the water and soil, which can lead to stomach cancer, goiter, 
hypertension, etc. Secondly, it can pollute the air leading to heart disease and different types of cancers. Excessive use of fertilizers can also kill the plants. But when we use manure, all these things are avoided. The plants absorb the nutrients slowly and more effectively. And when we consume such foods, it provides more nourishment to us all. So, people have become more aware these days. They want to be healthy and smart. Hope you like my question and answers. There are many other question and answers in the description box. So, please do not forget to check it. Thank you and take care. Do you want to be healthy too? Use of manure for our crops helps in saving the quality of water. Do you know that soon Bangalore will run out of drinking water? It is not only Bangalore. There are many other cities in the world that would face their day zero if they do not start planning. People think that there is bountiful of water because as we open a tap, the water gushes out. Even though the earth consists of 70% of water out of this enormous resource, only 1% is portable water. And if at all we try to convert the salty water to the levels of drinking water, it would come to us with a huge cost. The question is where we are heading. We all know that water is life. There is no living thing that can survive without water for long. It is because of this reason that civilizations were built around water bodies that is either lakes or rivers. Bangalore is also one such city which was blessed with many lakes. To be precise, there were a thousand eight lakes. Wow, that's a lucky number. But with the increase in population, there was also a rising demand for real estate. And slowly and slowly, the lucky number of thousand eight lakes diminished into the unlucky number of within less than 80 lakes. To make this situation worse, some of these lakes are now used as drains where all types of effluents are thrown. Thus, the fate of these blue patches is to stink eternally and some lucky ones are spared. And they are also soon converted into high-risk skyscraper. We depend upon River Kaveri for our daily supply of portable water. Now, it creates about 14 million and more, but the population ever rises. It is expected to be more than 20 million by the year 2030. Do you think River Kaveri can still supply water then? Why? Wait. When we have enough lakes in our city to take care of our water needs, then we just need to clean them and bring them back to life. Now, that is not a small thing. It is an Herculean task. But if we want to live in this beautiful city of gardens and lakes, we just need to put our best food forward. So, what are those golden rules? Let us not pollute. Ensure that there is STP in our building so that only treated water is sent out. Conserve water by installing aerators in taps, repair leaky taps and reuse the grey water and so on. There are many smart ways of conserving water and raising the water table. The old glory of Bengaluru can still be restored. Do you want to be the smart conservationist? Then why delay? Be one. Hope you like my presentation. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. There are also many other question and answers that are given in the description box below. So don't forget to check them. Please don't go anywhere. We are coming with lots more. So stay tuned. Thank you and bye.